Well, thanks so much for coming. Um, look, I know we have to wait for everything to be official, but... Look, once I've typed up my notes, we can talk about what happens next. It's just good to know we're a step closer, isn't it? Well, it's still a long way to go. But it went well. Look, I have to admit that some of the feedback gave me cause for concern. In what way? If you're having marriage problems, it's very important that you declare them. We're not! Anything that can impact on the stability of the home, we need to know about. Rita, we, we told you everything. We were totally up front, weren't we, Paddy? Yeah. These are our friends. Why would they say anything bad? It'll be all right. Look, I need to go now, but think about what I've said, and if you want to talk, well, you've got my number. I'll be in touch soon. to us. I thought everyone was on our side. Yeah, so did I. Hiya. Just came to see if you're all right. If we were all right. No, we're not all right, Paddy. I don't want to see you right now. There's no one else to talk to. Someone said that me and Rona were having problems. And you think that's me? No, I'm not accusing you. I know you had your meeting before you found out about me and Tess. Aaron. No one else knows. Well, one person does. She wouldn't. Oh, yeah, because you can really trust your bit on the side, can't you? I shouldn't let her talk to the social worker. No, Paddy, what you shouldn't have done is jumped into bed with her. You put your marriage, Leo's future, your whole life on the line, and for what, a woman you barely even know? She's wrecked this for you, and it's all down to you. You've got a blonde one, brunette one, to suit your mood, and one for something a bit different. It's exactly what I need, thanks. My pleasure. I hope it hasn't brought back too many bad memories. It did make me think of my mum, but that's not a bad thing. We were always close, and when she was ill, I pretty much didn't leave her side. She was lucky to have you. Thank you. <clears throat> you planning on doing any work today? I kind of see a thing, man. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, wow, would you look at that? You're cured. Comes and goes. I know a faker when I see one. I've had plenty of experience. And to think Bernice felt sorry for you. It was bad. Right, no more excuses. I want you here every day, on time, and committed. Or I'll tell Bernice that you've been playing her. Deal? Deal. So they should arrive tomorrow. Can't wait. Uh, Marlon said you'd be here. Didn't realise you two were mates, you know, after, uh... Val. It wasn't all Chrissy's fault. And you can't hold grudges forever. Doesn't do anybody any good. She's ordered me some wicks. Are you sure you need them? Cos you were fine last time. This time, I'm not. I'm losing me hair and I have to face it. But I'm not going down without a fight. Possibly as a brunette. Will, will you let me pay? I want to. I'm fine, Robert. And I'll be able to afford a truckload of wigs once I've sold the pub. Thank you for doing this. Oh, no, it's no trouble. Well, I really appreciate it. Did you tell her about me and you? Who? You know exactly who. Rita. Shh. I never said anything about I us. I bet you dropped some nice big insult, didn't you? Did you say my marriage was on the rocks? How dare you come in here accusing me? You're trying to ruin this for us. You can't have kids, so you try and stop us from having any more. I don't believe this. Admit it! I sat there and told her what great people you are, or what great parents you are, even though I didn't want to do it. I did not say anything bad about you. No, it... It must have been you. It, it well, can't it wasn't have been anybody me. else. But I wish I had told her what you were really like. You don't deserve another child. You don't deserve the life you've got. And don't forget, I could take it all away from you if I wanted to. Don't make an enemy of me, Paddy. <laughs> <laughs>